So don't focus on some parts, but think, think on behalf of the customer, think what they discuss with your customer and try to cover all phases. Uh, not just meet expectations and, and do what your competitors do. Maybe you want to, to succeed and, and even also beat and tackle the competition. Um, and the way to do that is to do what the OEM can do that nobody else can do. Uh, you have an information advantage because you can guarantee the right part of the right machine and you have the information needed that could add the value to, to the end user. It could be accessories, it could be tools to do a service, it could be uh, spare parts that, that should be changed. If you have one spare part you change, maybe you need to do something more uh, and it's a good idea to do it at the same time. Uh, instructions could be a rich content and so on. So pretty much data, that's the new oil. It's extremely valuable, but it's also important to remember that yes, the data itself really is not useful. It has to be refined and it has to be, be handled. Um, maybe you need to work through where your mass data is, where do you get the information, which systems hold the true uh, value for a specific part, for example. Uh, Typical situation is also that you get information about a certain service operation from many different systems. One system says one thing, another system says another thing. That becomes extremely confusing. So, so uh, ensuring that data is consolidated, maybe stored in one specific place, and definitely aligned with each other, and with each other is extremely important. And as Matthias said, we, we need to Customers expect different things. We, you need better and structured data, consolidated data to, to exceed the expectation of the customer. And then how do we make this data arrive to the customer? And then the normal, the most important channel for in, in the majority of the cases is a network of distributors and no one wants to get rid of it it's a really core pillar on the on the our presence on the on the market but uh, distributions distributors network have some issues that is worth to to mention uh so on one one side is that it, there is no control over product information um so when we provide information to the distributor, we, we can organize and have everything put together in the best way as possible, videos, uh, tips, documentation, manual, upsell, cross-sell, pricing, reasoning, what optimization, whatever, but we don't have, usually manufacturer doesn't have control how those information arrive to the final customer. That means as a manufacturer open to your direct contact with the customers and uh, be available with your brand uh, many says okay but that, how this is possible it won't work with my distributors there are ways and there are ways to bring a win-win-win